Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the Stations of the Cross. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable, and I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart, and because I love you, I repent sincerely for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die, always united to you. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. Again the high priest began to ask him, and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power, and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. Because of this sad journey of yours, I beg you to help me on the journey that my soul is making towards eternity. I love you, Jesus, my love, more than I love myself. With all my heart, I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulder, was thinking of you and offering for you to God the death he was about to suffer. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, we have no king but Caesar. Then they handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. My most admirable Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations that you have destined for me until death. Because of the pain you did suffer in carrying your cross, I beg you to give me the strength to carry mine with perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. As the soldiers drove on, he fell several times under the weight of the heavy cross. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world would love what is its own, because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. 
Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins that makes you suffer so much. Because of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, my Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the Son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and the woeful sight pierced their loving hearts with arrows of grief. Now there were standing by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus, therefore, saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then she said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. My dearest Jesus, by the pain you did feel in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your holy mother. My sorrowful queen, obtain for me through your intercession an ever affectionate remembrance of the passion of your son. I love you, Jesus, my love. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Christ above in tormentings, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene, helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how his persecutors, fearing that Jesus might expire from weakness on the way when they wished to see him die the infamous death of the cross, forced Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross after our Lord. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, meaning the place of the skull. My sweetest Jesus, I do not wish, like the Cyrenian, to refuse the cross. I accept especially the death that is destined for me, with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death and offer it to you. You died for love of me. I wish to die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The, th the sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the holy woman Veronica, seeing Jesus in such distress, with, with his face bathed with sweat and blood, offered him a towel, and how, in drying himself with it, our Lord left his sacred image impressed upon it. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And answering the king will say to them, Amen. That which you did for the least of my brethren, you did for me. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before, yet on this journey it no longer appears beautiful, but disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since then disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under the cross renews the pain of all the wounds in the sacred head and body of our afflicted Lord. It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by God and afflicted, but he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way, but the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. My most gentle Jesus, how often have you forgiven me, and how often have I again fallen and offended you? Because of this new fall, give me the strength to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that in all the temptations that will assail me, I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the women, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along, wept with compassion for him. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. My sorrowful Jesus, I weep for the offenses I have committed because of the punishment I deserve for them, but still more because of the displeasure they have given you, who has loved me so much. It is your love more than the fear of hell that makes me weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than I, I love myself. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. For the sins of his own nation, 
She saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, weak and exhausted, fell for the third time while the cruel executioners tried to make him walk faster, though he hardly had strength to move. I lie prostrate in the dust. Give me life according to your word. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Outraged Jesus, because of the weakness you suffered on the way to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my vicious inclinations, which have led me in the past to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. O sweet mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in being stripped by the executioners, had his garments pulled off so roughly that his lacerated flesh was torn away with the clothes to which it adhered. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. My innocent Jesus, because of the pain you suffered then, help me to strip myself of all affection for the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are more than worthy of all my love. I love you with my whole heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, thrown down on the cross, stretched out his arms and offered to his Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. Then they nailed his hands and feet, raised the cross, and left him to die in anguish. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. My despised Jesus, nail this heart of mine to your feet, so that I may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I am sorry that I have offended you, Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified. The twelfth station 
Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, finally overwhelmed with sufferings, let his body go, bows his head, and dies. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, and the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished, Father. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Then bowing his head, he died. O my loving Jesus, I tenderly kiss this cross on which you died for me. I deserve because of my sins to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die, embracing your feet and burning with love of you. Into your hands I commend my soul. I love you with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how our Lord, after he had died, was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and laid in the arms of his afflicted mother, who held him tenderly. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so they did not break his legs, But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately they came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave permission. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me as your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you, for me, for me you died, allowed me to love you, for I want you alone and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. Let me mingle tears with you. Mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried away our Lord's body for burial while his holy mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and withdrew. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. O my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses you, but you rose from there on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection to make me rise with you in glory on the last day, so that I may always be united with you in heaven to praise you and love you forever. I love you, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. 
is all I ask of you to give. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to travel with your Son to Calvary. Our way of the cross is complete, but now we start another path of the cross as we take our cross to follow you every day. Help us to carry our crosses with joy, knowing that you share our burdens with us. We ask everything through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.